One of the ways to approach selling is to approach it with a trust-based selling uh, angle, and I find this really useful. So rather than the typical model of putting offers to people and just chasing them and chasing them and chasing them 13 times or 15 times or 17 times until they reach a decision, what I teach clients is a trust-based approach where at each stage of the buying decision-making journey, the prospect is actually self-selecting and validating their interest each step of the way. So for example, rather than put the entire offer out to everybody, what I encourage people to do is just put a little teaser email or a text message or a Facebook message or a LinkedIn message, uh, but privately. And then only actually see, see then who responds. Once they've responded, they've taken a little micro commitment or they've, they've engaged in the process, and then you can take them on the next step and have a conversation or send them a little bit more information. But it's important that there's a back and forth and that at each stage, they're demonstrating their interest. And this way, you don't need to put your pricing, you don't need to put your entire offer out to everybody, just the small handful of people that it's actually appropriate for right now. And so if you do that, if you allow people to self-select and engage in the process, then what happens is that firstly, you're only dealing with qualified and interested buyers, but also they are on an equal footing to you in as much as it's not just you putting the offer and desperately chasing people, but you're putting something out there that can help them. And if they're engaging back and forth, it's much more like a doctor patient relationship where you book in time, you show up, you have a problem, you know somebody can solve it, and it's a relationship there where you're a trusted advisor as opposed to a desperate salesperson. My name's Adam Franklin, hope that helps.